Hi everyone, this is Edie, your video and YouTube strategist, and I'm coming in with a tutorial today on how to create and delete your playlist, as well as how to arrange your playlists on your home channel page. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do once you come into YouTube is you're going to go to the upper right corner where you will find your profile image, and you're going to click on that. And you can either go to My Channel or Creator Studio, depending on which one you want to do first. So let's go to My Channel so that we can rearrange how our playlists will appear. So this is a new layout within YouTube. It's broader. It takes up the entire screen now. Um, it's cleaner. It just looks prettier, and it's just easier to navigate. And these are all of the playlists that I currently have on my channel home page. So if I wanted to, say for instance, change this playlist to another one, or if I wanted to remove it completely, I would need to go here to Edit Layout. So I'll go to Edit Layout. It's going to switch back to the quote-unquote classic view, which is the older view or version of the layout for YouTube. Now I'm going to click up here because I don't want to see this as people who are subscribing will see this. So it's going to um, ask Hi, me to come back Clark, to this ben. page again. I'm going to go back to edit. And now you can see that um, note that was at the top is now gone. So I truly can edit now because you can see these little pencil icons all over the place when I hover. As you can see as I hover over the playlist, you can now see the pencil. So when you click on the edit or pencil mark, you will see that you'll be able to decide exactly what you want your layout to look like. Do you want to have a single playlist? Do you want to have multiple playlists? What is it that you really want to have as far as your content is concerned? How do you want that layout to be? Do you want it horizontal like how I have it or do you want it vertically? And then you have to choose your playlist. So I have my own set of playlists that I want to use. I'm not going to use any other ones from another channel that I may own or from somebody else's, in which case you can enter the URL there. I want to use my playlist and then I'm going to select which playlist I want to have appear in this spot. Now I don't want to move anything, so I'm going to leave this as is. So if I did want to change it, I could then change it to whichever playlist I have here. And that's what's going to appear here. When you're finished, you can click Done. If this particular playlist was a playlist that I did not want to have any longer and I wanted to remove it, I would just click on the delete or the trash bin and that would get rid of this playlist. I don't want to do that. I want to keep this so that's where um, that will be. Now if I want to go in and maybe edit the arrangement of these videos and things of that nature, I can do that as well. But first I just wanted to make sure that you understood exactly how to edit what your playlists would look like and which playlists you would use on this home channel page. Okay, so we've done that. And if you needed to add more playlists, you would just always scroll all the way till you came to the bottom, no matter how many you have, then you'd be able to click on this and then you would then be able to select what content you wanted to use. So we're going to scroll back up here and we're going to go back to my face or my profile and we're going to go to Creator Studio now because now we want to be able to create a playlist or delete a playlist or rearrange the videos on that playlist. So when you're in your Creator Studio you want to go to Video Manager and Video Manager is where all of your videos are housed whether they are private, unlisted, or public videos. This is where they are all housed. Now you'll notice right beneath that you'll see playlists so we're going to click on playlist and here are all of the playlists that I currently have on my channel. Some of these are private, some of them are actually public, and you can tell by the icon that's right beneath the name of that particular playlist. So this is a private one, and the globe is a public one. If it was unlisted, I don't have any unlisted ones. If it was unlisted, it would be an unlocked um, lock, basically. All right, so now we want to edit our playlist. So in order to edit our playlist, we can go over here 
to the button that says Edit Playlist, and we'll click on that. And these are all of the videos that are on this particular playlist. If we want to do anything here, if we want to add a description, if we want to get the share button, if we want to rearrange the videos, we have to then click on edit again. And now we switch back again to the um, classic view. And here is where we can rearrange our um, videos. We can add a video. If we want to add more videos, we just click on add video. And then we can either search for that video, if we know the URL, we can plug it in, or if we want to pull it from our library of videos, we can do that here. The other thing that you're able to do here is you can click in this area and add your description, if you so want, where you can talk about what are the videos that are found on this particular playlist. And then you're also able to share your playlist. You can get the link to share it or you can get the embed code where you can embed it on your uh, blog or on your website or wherever it is that you may need to have this embedded. And then if you click on here for your playlist settings you can see that you can change the privacy settings on this. Public, unlisted, and private. Obviously if you did it for private just so you know it will be private. It won't be able to be visible and you will not be able to even share that playlist with anybody that you know because this private playlist does not operate in the same way as a private video on YouTube. A private video on YouTube you're able to email to someone but with a playlist it's just simply that you do not want the public or even your subscribers to see it because anything that's unlisted your subscribers can still see but nobody in the public can see so just so that you know that. Also you can decide um, what's the order of the videos. Do you want to do it manually? Do you want to do it by most popular, by newest, or by oldest? Whether it be by date added or date published. You can then also set this as your official series um, for this playlist or you can deselect allow embedding that therefore no one would be able to embed your playlist, including yourself, if you deselect that, just so that you know. Um, this button is for auto add, and that's so that you can define rules for your videos that you want to have automatically added to this particular playlist. But we don't need to go into that um, right now. So this is um, how you would edit your um, your playlist and I, I showed you how you can get rid of your playlist so that's pretty much it um, you know how now to add you know how to create um, a playlist and then you know how to rearrange your playlist on your channel homepage so I hope that you found this helpful and I will see you next time take care